Linny here. Do you want to be invincible in Skyrim? Take no health damage and kill in one hit? We can do that. Watch this video. You'll learn. Before we get started, you will need 13 available perk points for your perk tree. Also, make sure you read the video descriptions. Not just this one, but all of them. I always put very helpful information in there. They may answer your questions before you have to ask them. Now, the first step is optional if you have Dawnguard DLC, get the Ethereal Crown. You can do this by reading the Ethereum Wars or going straight to Arkanthams by Markarth. The Ethereal Crown fits like a circlet, it's very pretty, and it just gives you an extra standing stone ability. First step, get enchantment to 100. What we're going to do, if you have the Ethereal Crown, go to the Lover Stone first and activate that. Then go to the Guardian Stones by Riverwood and activate the Mage Stone. This helps enchantment level up faster. Once you do that, just level up enchantment. I will have some tips in the description for you. Once you get that to 100, you can move to the next step. Step 2, get an Alchemy to 100. This is my least favorite. You need to go to the Guardian Stones again. If you have the crown, take it off this time first. And instead of going to the Mage Stone, we're going to go to the Thief Stone. Because that's what helps alchemy raise up faster. Once you activate the Thief Stone, make sure you put your crown back on. If you have it. Now, make sure you have some alchemy gear. I have the crown, a necklace, some bracers, and a ring. That's going to help my alchemy level up faster for me. Again, level up your alchemy. There will be some tips in the description for you guys. Step three is prepping and leveling up. I am serious when I say it's very helpful to empty your inventory first. Then put on alchemy gear. An actual headpiece instead of the crown will need to be put on this time. And level up if you need to. I did. <sighs> now, we need to go to the alchemy perk tree and level up five times for the first little percentages there. Once you do that. Go to the enchanting tree. Level up five times. And we really need the very top perk. So I went up to insightful chanter, corpus enchanter, and then to get to this extra effect. You can go down the other side if you would prefer. Now we're going to explore the food fire restoration glitch as step four. You'll need to make the potion, which can be in the description for you guys. Go to your menu, drink the potion. Remember, you still have your gear on, but now you need to take it off and put it back on without exiting the menu and make another potion. Now, if you mess up like I do, I made a restoration potion and uh, my head went somewhere and I forgot to drink it and I took my stuff off and put it back on that's fine just make another one as quickly as you can and then just, just drink them both well one at a time one and then take them off put it back on and then go right back and do it again without leaving your menu And then make another one. Now you keep doing this, okay, until you get a percentage high enough on your potions in your gear. You'll see that they raise if you pay attention to that. Once it's high enough for you, make a couple. And then you need to go exchange your ingredients for ingredients that make the Fortify Enchantment Potion, which you guessed it. It's going to be in the description for you. 
Once you have those ingredients, you need to drink your restoration potion. Take off your gear, put it back on, and then go back to making potions, except you're making enchantment this time. And you don't have to keep making them, just make a couple. So I made one. And one more. And that should be enough. We're going to start our enchanting now. Um, you will need a few more enchanting potions, but I just made a couple. The first thing that I would highly recommend you enchant would be a ring of smithing and alchemy fortification. Okay, that way you don't have to do the glitch again. You just put the ring on and it already has the pretty sweet power. And use grand soul gems always, guys. Now we're going to make, make sure you drink your potion. We're going to make a, I think bracers, yes. And I'm going to put fortify archery and two-handed or one-handed. I don't know. My screen's too small. I can't see it. And then drink your potion and we're going to make... A necklace of health and stamina regeneration. And then it is negative, you'll notice. But you'll see here that it doesn't matter. The only time negative matters is on alchemy and smithing fortification that I found so far. So I'm going to put the necklace on and I'm going to show you. Even though it's negative, it's still going to protect me from this guy. No damage. All right, back to the enchantment table. Drink your potion. And we're going to make a ring with fortify carry weight and fortify one-handed. One more time, drink your potion and make a headpiece. I chose a circlet. And we're going to put fortify magic region on there. And water breathing. I like to swim. Sweet. Now we're done. Now, here's what we do. Put all of that awesome gear you just made on. Don't forget that part. Once you do that, you can wear whatever you want around Skyrim. If you really, really like the look of elven armor, but it doesn't give you enough... You can wear it now. I really like the Stormcloak Officer armor. Now I can wear it. And look, no damage. Now, Frost does take some stamina, but you can quickly see that it recharges very fast. And he only took one hit. That's my favorite part. Be aware, this does take some of the fun out of the game for some people, guys. Not for me, but for some people. So to recap, get your enchanting and alchemy to 100 and then utilize that fortify restoration glitch. Thanks for watching.